Welcome to the McClure Company Spotted Lantern Fly Awareness and Driver Training. In this presentation, we'll cover the background on this pesky bug, learn about the spotted lantern fly, and what exactly your responsibility is within this campaign. The spotted lantern fly is an invasive plant hopper native to China. It was first detected in southern Pennsylvania in 2014. It feeds voraciously on many plants, including economically important crops like fruit trees, grapevines, hops, hardwoods, and ornamentals. It injects a feeding tube into the plant and sucks the sap out. It can destroy property too. As it feeds, it drips a sticky substance called honeydew, which is difficult to clean off property as it leaves lasting stains. It doesn't sting or hurt people. Lastly, the Pennsylvania Department of Ag Agriculture does not have an answer to rid Pennsylvania of this fly. That is why they are enlisting the help of companies in the affected areas. McClure Company employees who drive a company owned car and are based out of the Harrisburg office, Dauphin County, are expected to participate. The goal behind this is to stop the spread of this destructive bug to other counties and states and eliminate it altogether. In 2017, the Pennsylvania Department of Agriculture named these counties as quarantined because of the infestation of the spotted lantern fly. In late of March 2019, Dauphin County was placed on the list of quarantine zones too. The Pennsylvania Department of Agriculture is requiring employers in every quarantine zone or entering the quarantine zones to undergo training such as this and either label their vehicles or place tags on their rearview mirrors. Now, let's learn about the life cycle of this destructive little bug. The eggs look like grayish rows about one inch long and may contain 30 to 50 flies per deposit. They lay their eggs on any flat surface, such as wood or metal. Here are some examples of what the egg deposits look like. The hatch and first instar period is between May and June. As you can see, they are black with white spots and are very tiny. They can crawl from surface to surface. The second instar period is between June and July. They grow a little bit more and in addition to crawling, they can jump from surface to surface. The third instar period is between June and July. This is the last stage where the flies will be black with white spots. They too can crawl and jump. The fourth instar period is between July and September. This is their final growth period before they sprout wings. The fly is red and black with white spots and can crawl and jump. The adult stage is between July and December. During the adult stage, they have wings which allow them to fly and they can crawl from surface to surface. When their wings are closed, they look brown with black spots. But when they are open, you'll see the red underwings. They are about one to one and a half inches long. The egg laying stage is between September and December. Congratulations, now you're well versed in the various stages of the spotted lantern flies life cycle. What is your responsibility? Number one, hang the tag on your rearview mirror. Identify the fly in its various stages. Kill them when detected and report them to the Pennsylvania Department of Agriculture. McClure employees who drive a company owned vehicle and drive in and out of the quarantine zones are expected to adhere to these responsibilities. Hanging the tag. Once you complete this training, most of you who drive a company owned vehicle on a daily basis will be issued a tag for your vehicle. For those of you who borrow company owned cars, you will find a tag in the vehicle. You are required to place this 
tag or permit on your rear view mirror when the vehicle is parked. Your second responsibility is to be able to identify the spotted lantern fly in its various life cycles. The third responsibility is to help eradicate this bug by killing them if you see a, a bug is to squish them by any means possible. If the spotted lantern fly is in the egg form, Pennsylvania Department of Agriculture is asking that you scrape off the egg deposits into containers, close them up tightly and throw them away. Your fourth responsibility is to report them. They're asking that we perform daily observations at the beginning and end of your trips. Uh, before you start out for the day, look over your vehicle and anything you're hauling. Look for the stages of the spotted lantern fly, then document your findings. At the end of each day, look over your vehicle and anything you're hauling for stages of the spotted lantern fly, then document your findings. And then for reporting, anytime you come across a stage of this fly, you are required to kill it and report it to the Pennsylvania Department of Agriculture. I bet you're wondering how you're going to document your daily observations at the beginning and end of your day. Well, how about you do it on your iPhone in the McClure app? So all you have to do is open up your McClure app and on the right side, you're going to see a, a tab with a fly icon and the words SLF check. That stands for Spotted Lantern Fly Check. Click on the tab when you're ready to perform one of your daily reports. When you click on the tab, it will take you directly to the day. Then it gives you two options in the AM or PM. Your choices always begin with a green, not applicable rectangle. Now let's pretend we just performed a physical check of our company owned vehicle and material prior to our initial departure for the day. We'll start with the AM portion at the top. Let's say we saw no sign or stage of the spotted lantern fly. Clicking the no turns it red. To save your record of this entry, click on the save icon at the top. Once you click the save icon at the top, the wording beside the icon will change to update successful. Now let's say we found three spotted lantern flies on our windshield before we started out our day. First, you squish them, then document and report to the Pennsylvania Department of Agriculture. Click yes, that you found some, make a note of it, and at the very bottom, there is a link to the Pennsylvania Department of Agriculture. That link will take you to the Penn State Extension for reporting spotted lantern flies. Penn State and the Pennsylvania Department of Agriculture have teamed up in an effort to eradicate this bug. That site will allow you to scroll down to the various stages of the fly that you found. Click the blue rectangle, and there you have reported your findings. So let's wrap it up. Let's go over your responsibilities one last time. Hang the tag when your vehicle is parked. Be able to identify the various stages of the spotted lantern fly. Kill them when you find them and report them. Thanks for viewing this presentation. And if you have any questions, please call Tom Scott at 717-648-0231.